retired mechanical engineer, Mike Melia, is going to be providing an update on his inertial propulsion device, which uses a primary drive for living perpendicular rotation. So in normal, in normal circumstances, any peripheral force generated by this movement should manifest itself within as part of the rotation. But contrary to this, the drive is visually creating linear thrust emanating at a 90% angle to the direction of rotation. So everybody here probably remembers your first presentation, Mike. Thank you so much for coming back to update us on this. We're, 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 again, we're kind of going to this monthly format. And so what I'm trying to do is pack everything in and we've got so many updates from the past as well. But let, let, me, let me hand things over to you. Oh, uh, okay, Tim, you've sort of caught me on the hop. Uh, you know, I'm uh, very much a, a technophobe with this kind of thing. And I was relying on my son to sort of help me along, but he's not due for another half hour. <laughs> I wasn't expected to come on so early. Oh, so, okay. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Do you want to do this? Tim, I, I will try and uh, start the presentation. I think I've got the methods and the means to actually demonstrate it. Um, okay, well, so yeah, I'll, if, I'll do, if you I'll want do to. my best, and he's on his way. You, you do appreciate it's 11.30 in the evening where I am right now. Oh, you're right, you're right, and I don't want to push <laughs> you back any further. So, so. so you know, let's um, uh, uh, let's sort of go for it. What, what I'll start off with, Tim, is that I will briefly go through the previous presentation, if that's okay, and I'll show people uh, maybe some of them didn't see it. So I, I, I'll, uh, if you can screen share, if you can take on my screen, I will, there you go. Uh, have you got that, Tim? Uh, no, I think you have to finish the screen share. I can see actually, I can see reflection in your glasses that it started, but uh, okay. I think you have to click okay to send it. Okay, screen share. Nah. Oh yeah, no stress, no stress. Yeah, so when you do screen share, it's gonna make you pick a window. Uh, there we go, okay, so something is starting to, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay. Uh, as I say, you, you just gotta bear with me. I might be a bit of a mad inventor, but I'm a useless presenter. No, uh, you're, you're, doing, you're doing great, you're doing great. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, the first, uh, I, I asked a lot of questions. Is inertia propulsion impossible? Uh, to answer this question, you have to be aware of the problem. Oh, now, Mike, but before I, before I, let me interrupt one final time. Do you want to try and do this in slideshow mode or, or are you okay with what you have? Well, I'm okay with what I have. I, I, I'll do it slideshow, but I'll also show videos. Okay. Yeah. This might be better yeah. then. Okay. That okay. way you can jump around. Uh, well, I won't. I won't go through it all. The um, this is the previous presentation. Is inertia propulsion possible? Available. The answer to the above is yes. Uh, this was all presented previously. Um, rotation creation. I think everybody's seen that. Um, proof of concept. Uh, da -da -da -da. In all circumstances. Blah 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 blah. Uh, and then I went on to show the video. So if I can show the video now of the the, the original one. Have we got that? Hello? Tim? We don't see it. Are you reading this? Hello? Mike, no, I can we see cannot see it. Uh, yeah, I can see it on my separate screen, but I can't see it on the primary screen, Mike. So. Yeah, we just see your presentation. Yeah. Can, can, can you see this? this? Well, I can, but I have two screens going on, so I don't know if the rest of the crew can or can't. I can hear you, though. What are you wanting us to see? You were mentioned a video. We don't see a video. We see a proof of have concept. You, have you got the video? No, I don't see it. No. must have stepped away. He'll be back. No, the video you need to go to make it work. 
If the video is separate from the PowerPoint, uh, you, need okay, to, new you share. need to unshare. You need to unshare, okay, new share. and then you need to go to share again and select the video. It only okay. shows what you've selected. Or you could just you can just uh, lower your. Have you got that? Okay. Yeah. There it is. Now we got it. Okay, I'll take it from the beginning. <laughs> well, mate. And this was the video that I demonstrated in the previous um, uh, series. I won't bore you with all the details. I'll just rapidly run through it. The drive method, the perpendicular rotation, etc. Method: The mechanism is a closed unit demonstrating no propeller power is responsible. Linear force being created is not random imbalance or vibration. The video demonstrates it is a powerful controllable directional force. System propulsion engines require wheels or propellers. And then we come to the video. And this was just done on a tabletop. As you can see, it's uh, demonstrating five pounds of thrust. Be substantial, right? Um, okay, and is there anything I can help I, with? My I'm, I'm coming back to the original one. I, I'm sorry for the oh, no, no, mess. not at all, not at all. Perfect. Uh, that was the video. That, that's where I was up to at the last occasion. Um, uh, we have advanced a bit since then. Uh, the latest developments in the video I've uh, put in uh, since I last presented on the site, I've continued in my efforts to enhance the performance of the machine in order to better demonstrate the viability of the concept. In the following video, you will see the original machine outwardly unchanged, but generates the thrust has been increased from five pounds to eight pounds, making it easier to demonstrate the machine driving on wheels. The thrust is generated by internally conflicting gyroscopic forces, creating a linear pulsed force emanating at a 90 degree angle to rotation. The vibration that can be seen is due to single action imbalance that would be corrected by more units running in tandem. If I can give an analogy, the machine currently is as unbalanced as a single cylinder combustion engine with no flywheel fitted and not bolted down. But the only reason it's not bouncing all over the place is it is producing directional thrust. Uh, I can... Go to the next, oh, sorry, in the video. Map, about. The following page shows a graph illustrating the effects of a single pulse drive in different environments. The first one, space, shows propulsion 
propulsion thrust will continue unhindered in a zero gravity vacuum. In the second, water, propulsion movement will continue with slowdowns between pulses. The third indicates the unbalanced chaos that would ensue if no thrust was being developed. The fourth, wheels, is the most difficult to demonstrate with a pulse movement as it requires continuous torque to break what I term the gravity-induced inertia lock on the wheel. Um, I think everyone will agree who's ever pushed a broken down vehicle, the hardest part is actually get that wheel in motion. Uh, once the wheel's in motion, it's a lot easier. A small pulse force will only move the wheel fractionally and the gravity inertia will return it to its original position. With the option of building more machines and synchronizing them to give a constant thrust out of the question, I've had to engineer a method of countering this last lack of continuous torque. Um, the, <clears throat> the following videos, again, this is my unpreparedness, are taken directly from camera with no editing or enhancement. I've done it this way to openly demonstrate there should be no doubt trickery or embellishment is not involved. The videos show the machine operating at both slow and medium speeds. At the slower speed, there is drive with a minimum amount of imbalance. As the revs are increased, the imbalance that can be seen has been set to be biased towards the top of the machine. This sporadic imbalance helps the linear force being created to increase the speed of travel by reducing the gravity-induced weight of the unit. Um, the pulse graph. The top one here is a pulse, pulse graph in space. Pulse on and off, and it would continue. Pulse on and off, and it would continue. If an engine like this is put in the boat, you've got a pulse on, and then you've got a movement, it would slow down, but it would continue. Pulse on and continue. Um, on a pulse with no thrust is random. It's pulse on, pulse off, pulse off. It's completely random and chaotic. In those exercises, with what I term to be uh, gravity lock, um, it's pulse on and return. It's pulse on and return. Because the gravity of a can demonstrate a wheel, the wheel will move a fraction of an inch and pop back again. A fraction of an inch and back again. Gravity is actually locking it in. With no continuous thrust, gravity is locking in it in, in its position. Um, the bottom one shows a pulse propulsion on wheels with the gravity lock countermeasure setting. So we have a pulse on pulse off, pulse on, pulse off. But as you can see, we are progressing. We're not doing this. We're not going backwards, in, back, back, back. We're going forward, forward. So that is basically uh, the, the uh, machine. Um, and now I'm going to have to, uh, the only part I've got to show you on this, I'm going to have to put a stick up on the machine because I do not have the means to show you these videos. I did not have a chance to get somebody to put it on the machine. My son was going to do that, um, but unfortunately he hasn't arrived yet. So I'm going to try and put um, a stick in the uh, in the computer and see if I can demonstrate the uh, the videos. Is that okay, Tim? Hello? Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, I had you on mute. Yeah, go for it. Am I boring you? <laughs> no, no, no. I just I had to reach down for the mute button. It was on the other side of the okay, screen. Okay, I'll try the stick, Tim, and see if I can get it on the screen and then show you the video. Okay. And do you want me to stop screen share? No, no. I think you'll have to screen share. Oh yeah, I I wasn't sure if you wanted to redo. Uh, okay. Yeah, I I would say go for it. Just let me know how I can help, sir. Right. Can you see this now? What I'm doing? No, not yet. It's still it's still sharing your PowerPoint. So, uh, do, do you want do you want you want to redo the screen share from scratch to do that or? Yeah, yeah. Try sharing from scratch. Okay, okay. Let oh, let so me I do press that. New share. I'll press new share. Yeah, yeah. How we? Uh, 
Uh, there we go. Uh, Java. Okay, so now I can see. Now you can see some videos along the top. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first one I'll show you is just to demonstrate that there's no mechanical linkage at all to the wheels. So if I can just put that on the show. Okay, now the second one I will demonstrate is the sort of uh, first sort of movements. You've seen there's no, um, there's no actual joining, there's no mechanical um, tie up to the wheels or anything like that. So again, these are in very raw states, they're unedited, they're not put together, so that there's no trickery, no movements in them. So if I can just... Doesn't seem to be working. Ah. Right. Did everybody get that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've 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 seen your videos come through. Uh... Again, I, I'll I'll show a few more, Tim. I'm sorry, it's such a no, no. Uh, you're doing great. An awful doing presentation. Great. Let me show you the next. Let me show you the next few slides. I'll show you the next one.
Um, uh, I think that's really enough now, Tim. It's taken up too much of um, my memory planes off the stick. But did you get enough of the videos? Did people see enough of the videos? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So well, uh, there are a couple more videos there, but basically the same sort of thing. But as you can see, they're in a very raw state. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready to actually demonstrate them just yet, but you can see it's probably a good thing and that you can clearly see that there's no, um, there's no editing involved or no um, embellishment. So what you see is what you get, and it actually is driving those wheels with the thrust that I have been trying to prove exists. Uh, May I ask a question? Basically, oh. if we go with the summary, I'll take this out. Oh. Yeah, well, guys, and guys, let's let's wait until he's finished for the questions. If I can summarize. Uh, the engine demonstrates it is a relatively crude homemade machine, as you can possibly see, designed and built solely to prove the concept of linear force being generated from rotational stroke gyroscopic is feasible. The settings within the machine to achieve this are finite and not held by the inaccurate build of the unit. But as can be seen, the engine is propelling a wheeled vehicle with no mechanical linkage to the wheels and with no propeller, jet or rockets providing propulsion. Uh, any future developments of this technology would require a lot more than I can offer to it. So it would require the involvement of people and facilities capable of aircraft standard and manufacture, including computer controlled dynamic machine performance capabilities. That's the problem with something like this. I can do one setting internally and to do another setting requires about 10 different settings within the machine. Um, all that would be done automatically with a correctly built machine. It would be computer controlled, literally fly by wire. So as you increase the speed, the settings in the machine would alter and react accordingly. Uh, basically, that's all I've got to add. Awesome. Well. Mike, let, so let me do this. I'm going to put this thing on. Actually, you know what? Let's let's hold the applause. Let's go right to questions, because I think we're going to do we're only going to do a few and then we'll go to our next presenter. Um, so I let me see some. I believe someone had a question. And we'll, we'll, we'll work them into this. And you know what, Mike, hey, let me let me do this. I will just stop. I'll stop your screen share. And there, there we go. OK. And that now we're back. So someone someone said, "Can I ask a question?" They they did it so fast that I don't know where they went. That was that was me. But uh, oh, you answered. Okay, I'm not sure if what you were showing with that machine, but you answered it very nicely in the summary. So thank you for that. And very interesting, by the way. Holy smokes! Oh well, thank you, Casper. Um, okay, and so let me see. Let me let me re off the thing. And again, we'll we'll just do a super short. We'll, mixed questions in here today because this is just kind of an update so uh, option y on mac or alt y on windows let me go to michael boyd sir so i'm curious in the, the the flywheel was in that um silver area at the front of the device mike I can't hear you. You've okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. My question was the flywheel part of the device was on the left side. There's no it... flywheel in the device. Oh, okay. The, so what? Is, uh... What? What's cre what's creating the 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 uh, for force that's causing it to move to the left? It's just the settings um it's just an alteration in slide speed this is what i said before the machine would have to be so finely finitely set um i, I noticed it's just been a little thing coming up there friction uh, but the definition of um 
an airship propulsion system is an engine that can drive wheels without any linkage to the wheels, without any propeller to grasp at the air, and without any um, uh, jet or rocket propulsion. And you've just witnessed that happening. So I've just seen a comment there, somebody telling me it's friction. If it's friction, then friction is an airship propulsion, is all I can say. So I don't understand what you're, I'm confused when you say the word engine. Is there something moving in the engine? There's a lot of things moving in the engine. Um, obviously, that's proprietary right now. But ah, that's what I'm trying to figure out is... Uh, yeah, it's 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 something I, 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 you know, I was to give away the whole of the thing. It would be that's this. So I'm asking you for the secret sauce, is what you're saying? Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I I would love to tell you what the secrets are, but uh, unfortunately, I would like to have some reward for those secrets. I understand. So now, does your device have you a, a patent application for that device? Sorry, say. Can you say that again? You'll have to forgive me. I'm going slightly deaf. That's okay. Uh, do you have a patent application for it? No, no. I have no patent application on any of the things. The reason uh, for that okay. is so that under that explains why it's a secret sauce. Yeah, that that, that is why I'd like to. <laughs> keep that's it. one of the benefits of having a patent application. Is you can talk about yeah. secret sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think yeah. this is a bit. This okay, thank you. That, that's uh, what I was trying to figure out, but I appreciate awesome. your, uh, your okay. Thanks. Well, well, Michael, Michael, thank you. Yeah, and and Mike, don't don't go, don't divulge the secret sauce. No secret sauce on this on this channel. No <laughs> secret sauce today. Um, l let me go to Harold, and then after that, we will go to Brian. I think uh, because Brian has a presentation for us. So, Harold, go for it, sir. Yes. Well, thank you. Uh, that, that's nice. You know, I, I saw the machine before. Your presentation is still good. Uh, my question for you is this, that uh, you say it's producing gyroscopic forces there. Uh, if you were to take the whole machine and you put it vertical so that the force of proportion, with the force of proportion that is producing would be up and will make, let's say on a weight scale, the machine would be lighter. Have you done that experiment? Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it would actually be a bit lighter, but I believe that a lot of the things that we're doing um, in an initial propulsion field are uh, unnecessary tests or the tests that don't really work um, because they are um, ruined by the dreaded gravity. So everything you do is... Uh, in an airship propulsion system in space, the chart I, I sort of highlighted there shows that a pulse propulsion system would pulse and continue to continue to continue on. And then it would pulse again and continue on. But if you do that on Earth with gravity, you pulse and it stops. You pulse, it stops. You pulse, it stops. So um, unfortunately, we don't, the best test facilities for something like this are up in the uh, wild blue yonder, uh, where there's zero gravity, and you've got no air. <laughs> that's that's the only true test. Um, other tests, you know, you can make you can be indicative of yes, it might do this and it might do that. But trust me, as I've found, driving on wheels is probably the most difficult test of all. For anybody who's trying to construct and demonstrate an inertia propulsion engine, um, because I, I, I have discovered, I term, and I term it a gravity inertia lock on a wheel. And I think that actually does exist. The wheel in static term, when it's static, is subject to gravity inertia. And to get that wheel moving requires disturbing all that gravity inertia and putting a chaotic situation in the wheel to enable it to turn. And a pulse system will not do that unless you do special measures. Oh, thank you for the explanation. That's uh, great, you know, and good luck. Continue your research. You're doing good. But at some point, get a patent application because if that machine is that good, you know, hey, 
you can leave a family well off. Well, and yourself, all at, right. And, and at that point, we will pester you for the secret sauce, but 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 not until then. Harold, thank you, sir, and and Mike, thank you as well. Let me put this thing on gallery view. Everybody, please put your hands together and give a giant applause to Mike Melia for his update presentation. I know that some of these are a little shorter today. And one of the reasons for that is we, we have Mark Sokol who is at Tesla Tech. We're not quite there yet. Um, the other part is for me is, again, I, I'm trying to pack all these updates in. I feel a little panicked about going to once a month. That's kind of a kind of scary for me, but um, 